guys, Francis Vega here with Hollywood Times Square. We are at the premiere of You're Not You, a very, very touching story about a woman struggling with ALS. Um, we're here with all of the stars. We're here with Hilary Swank, Emmy Rossum, Jason Ritter, and many, many more. So let's go talk to them. It was such a fun role in the midst of this very intense um, movie. and. Uh, I don't know. I, I love the script, and I was excited at the prospect of getting to work with, you know, people like Hillary and Loretta Devine and Ernie Hudson and Emmy, and um, so it, it sort of was a no-brainer for me. I, I wanted it so badly, and uh, you know, it's one of those things where you audition and you cross your fingers, and um, this time it worked out. So I feel lucky. My agent sent me the script, and I fell in love with it. It was beautifully written. It was a story about friendship between two women, which isn't very some something you come across every day. I love the idea that it was about a disease that I had no idea about, that affects so many people. We have no idea what causes it or, or even close to a cure. It was very uplifting and moving, and I loved it. Um, mentioning going off of the fact that you didn't really know anything about it, when you were preparing, like how did Hillary you... and I met with um, uh, people who had been diagnosed at different points along their journey. It was very moving, not only to watch them, but to watch their families and how it affects them. Um, and it was amazing to get to bring that kind of story to the screen. You know, the, the lady who played my wife, Loretta Devine, we, we did a, we worked together in the past. She's such an amazing actress. I, I love, love Loretta. And, uh, and so I really wanted to play with her. But I also love the fact, I love their relationship. And I love the fact that he was a guy because obviously the other relationship, the guy doesn't, he's not exactly a stand-up guy. But I love being able to be there for her. That's what I'd like to think. God, I never wanted to find out in life, but that, that I would be. So it was, I, I love the character and I love their relationship. And, uh, and when I read the script, I just wanted to be a part of it. So, uh, yeah, so, and to get a chance to play with uh, Hillary and, you know, Emmy, and it's, it's, this is, for what I do, the acting, this is as good as it gets. Well, I uh, was given the book, and so I bought the rights with my producing partner, Molly Smith. We went through the adaptation, getting, hiring the writer, getting the whole, getting the financing, um, and getting the whole crew together, and the cast, etc. So this is really the passion project. It's really the, the little movie that could. And I know you've done quite a few roles where you like really, really had to delve deep into these characters. What was it like uh, portraying someone with ALS, and how did you get into that? Well, you know, in the end, this is a this is a, 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 a book of fiction, which makes it a movie of fiction. But after I met with the ALS patients that I did, and in order to do my research and getting to sit with them and hear them speak their heart about what this meant to them, what how 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 what happened physically to them, what it meant emotionally to them, it became a true story. I feel like I'm telling their story, and it made it it put so much more responsibility on portraying it honestly and. Um, shining a light on something that we really need to look at.